Today we're going to be commissioning this system, but it's very cold, and you can see here on the screen that the water temperature in the pipework is 7 degrees. And if we scroll through using the temperature button, you can see the cylinder is 20, the temperature here is 8.5 in the house, and the temperature outside is 7 degrees. The problem is, if the temperature of the water in the pipework is less than 10 degrees, the unit isn't going to start the compressor, so we need to raise that temperature first to get the unit heating. If we start the unit in heating mode using the on-off button, and we set it at 50 degrees C here, what will happen is the pump will start, but at no point will it start the outdoor unit until the flow temperature going through the unit is 10 degrees or more. So what we need to do is prime the unit with some warm water. The problem we're going to have is that if we look at our three valves, so heating zone 2, heating zone 1 and hot water, is that in heating mode the heating zone valves are open as you can see. But the hot water valve is closed. What I want to try and do is bring some hot water out of the cylinder back through the return pipework here um, into the unit to prime it. To do this what I need to do firstly is manually crank open the hot water valve. You can see this can be done by pushing the lever down and hooking it into the stop. So we're now circulating both around the heating and the hot water at once. Now ideally what we'd like to do is stop the water going around the heating circuit and that's difficult to do without removing the head of the valve but in our case we're going to do this by closing the TRVs. What we're going to do now is turn every single radiator on the house down, pushing the water through the tank, not through the radiators. And you need to do this in every room, if possible. What the system's now doing is pushing our water through the hot water valve, and very little is going through this heating valve, even though it's open. The idea now is that the water will go up through the cylinder, into the coil, and return back out of the return of the cylinder into the heat pump. And this will raise the temperature coming back to the system. After a few seconds, if we look at the view temperature, we can see now the temperature in the circuit has risen to 11 degrees, and hopefully in a few seconds' time, we'll see the little compressor symbol will appear here, and the unit will start operating. And there it is, showing now. Now the system has started operating, I suggest we leave this for sort of 5 or 10 minutes to get the heat pump away, and then all we need to do is go back, open our, our TRVs on the radiators, and go back and turn the hot water valve off. So, first off, let's get the valves open for the radiators. And now click our hot water valve so it closes, pushing the water back through heating. And if we go back to the controller, you can see the system's running and everything's looking good. And the flow temperature is beginning to rise up now and get going. 